videos to your school YouTube account. The first thing we need to do is open up our web browser. We're going to double click our Google Chrome icon and go to youtube.com. In the upper right hand corner we are going to sign in using our school's credentials and our school login. I'm going to select my G Suite account, input my password, and now I am brought to YouTube and my YouTube channel. I'm going to move to the upper right hand corner to my account. I'm going to click on my first letter of my first name, my initial, and I am going to select YouTube Studio and here is where I will manage videos. But first, I am still in my personal or school YouTube channel and I need to switch accounts and be in my school's channel. So today I'm going to select the Laconia High School channel and I will be redirected to the Laconia High School's studio channel. So one of the important things to remember is to make sure that you are in your school's account. Here I can see SAU 30 Laconia High School. Next I am going to upload a video. To do that though I like to see what other videos there might be on the high school's page. So I over here on the left hand side are going to select videos. Here I can see that this will be the first video that's uploaded to the Laconia High School site. So I have a couple of options here. I can either click Create and Upload Video, or I can click Upload Video here in the middle of the screen. If for any reason I see Go Live here, then I know that I am still in my personal YouTube account and not in my school account. You will not see go live here in your school account. So that's just a little trick. If you do see that, make sure you come over and switch accounts. So I am going to click upload video. A box pops up that allows me to select the file that I wish to upload. I'm going to click select file. In this instance, I have saved my video to a thumb drive. So I am going to come over here on the left side of the screen and select my USB drive. And I can see my riveting Baby Shark videos here. So let's double click it to start that upload. I have been redirected to a details box, which will allow me to fill in some information. I need to title the video. It's required. I'm going to leave the default title here as Baby Shark. In the box underneath, I am able to input a description. In this case, I'm going to leave that blank. The next set of details is the thumbnail that's being created. You could select whichever thumbnail you'd like. In this instance, I'm going to leave that with the default. One of the most important things when adding your, via, your video to your YouTube channel is to keep things organized. In order to do that, playlists are created. I am going to use the down arrow to select a playlist. And in this instance right now, I only have one play, playlist to choose from. So I will select the IT department. If I had another or different playlists I'd like to create, I can do that by clicking on the new playlist button here at the bottom of the screen and then clicking done. YouTube is now asking us who the intended audience of this video is. In this instance, this video can be for kids. So I will click that. I will go into the more options page here and I am going to scroll down 
and I'm going to go to the comments rating. So in this instance, the comments have been disabled from this page. If I want to see why that's occurring, I can click the Y button and go over that. Comments in this case are turned off because it is a video for kids and unwanted comments are not an option here. If this was targeted to adults, you might choose to come in here and disable or select preview and approve comments before they appear. I'm going to click next. I'm brought to the video elements page. Here I am not going to add anything, so I will move down to the lower right hand corner and click next. Visibility. This will be a public accessible video. So I am going to click public. And should I want to have this video start on a particular date, I could schedule that to occur. But that's not the case here. So we will move to publish this video. A confirmation that the video has been published can be seen here. You could also share a link to a social networking platform if you chose to. In this instance, we are going to click close. The video now appears in our video library. If we needed to change any of the details that we have included, we could do that by clicking on the pencil to the right of the video and we could edit the title, the description, change commenting, or our <coughs> playlist selection. <coughs> Videos can be in more than one playlist at a time, which is nice. When I've made my changes, I can click Save, and then I can use this arrow here in the upper left-hand corner to go back to my video library where if I wanted to, I could also use the three dots here or the options and I could delete that video forever. This is also a great place to see how many views your video has. Thank you for joining us on how to upload your videos to your school's YouTube channel.